It's hard to find someone who has seriously thought about the vastness of space and didn't feel a deep, bone-chilling terror. Endless, empty space, terrifying black holes that can practically erase matter, and countless strange exoplanets that are so far away and mysterious that they seem unreachable. Today, we'll talk about five incredible exoplanets with conditions that are like real hell. But before we continue, if you are fascinated by the incredible discoveries and spectacular wonders of the universe, be sure to subscribe to The Rocket to continue exploring the cosmos with us. First on the list is an exoplanet with some very exotic weather. No, no umbrella will help you here unless it's made from titanium. Meet Korat 7b, a planet where it constantly rains rocks. This unusual planet is just over 1.5 times the size of Earth and about 1.5 billion years old. It's relatively close, only 489 light years away. When Korat 7b was first discovered in 2009, scientists thought it was the first rocky exoplanet resembling Earth. However, it's considered uninhabitable, with a 0% chance of life. If you ever get the chance to watch the sunrise on this planet, it would be the last thing you ever see. The rays of the morning star, Korat 7, from the unicorn constellation would turn you into ash as soon as the sun appears over the horizon. Sunrise here is much brighter because Korat 7b is 60 times closer to its star than we are to our sun. Essentially, the visible size of the Korat 7 star is 360 times larger than how we see the sun. The temperature on the sunny side of the planet can reach a scorching 4700 degrees Fahrenheit, making the surface hot enough to melt and vaporize rocks. Then something incredible happens. The hot, vaporized rock rises to the upper atmosphere where it cools and condenses, turning into fine gravel. These small rock fragments fall into the ground during colder fronts, creating literal rock rain. Looking deeper, some theoretical models suggest you might even find entire oceans of lava on this planet. The situation is made even worse by the fact that Korat 7b is tidally locked, meaning one side always faces its star, enduring constant fire and sulfur, while the other side remains very cold with surface temperatures dropping to negative 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Astronomers believe Korat 7b started as a gas giant about 100 times larger than Earth. As it moved closer to its star, the gas was stripped away by solar winds until only the rocky core was left. Such is the inevitable past and the no less terrifying present of Korat 7b. We hope you weren't too put off by the rough conditions on the last planet because we're moving on to another intriguing world. While the next planet, J1407b doesn't have inferno-like conditions, it definitely falls into the category of places you'd never want to visit. If you tried to reach J1407b, you'd encounter an endless belt of rock and ice. It's tempting to compare this massive gas giant to Saturn because it has gigantic rings too, but J1407b's rings are 200 times wider than Saturn's. While Saturn has three main rings, J1407b boasts an incredible 30 rings spanning over 110 million miles. Just to let that th sink in, that's 20% more than the distance from Earth to the Sun, which is 93 million miles or 1.2 astronomical units. For comparison, Saturn's largest ring has a radius of only about 300,000 miles. Imagine the visualization of Saturn's rings, which are already a magnificent sight. Now think about how jaw-dropping it would be to see the rings of J1407b. If we could stand on J1407b or one of its satellites, lights and look up, the view would be nothing short of spectacular. Rings of this scale from due to the mass of destruction of planet satellites. So what might have happened here? It's likely that J1407b's mass is between 10 and 40 times that of Jupiter. This is a huge celestial body whose gravity could easily tear satellites apart. There's also another theory that J1407b might not be a gas giant at all, but an actual protostar that never managed to become a brown dwarf. The scientific community hasn't reached a consensus on how to classify such objects yet. An argument supporting the idea that J1407b is an incomplete star is that it moves along its orbit around its host star, unlike a dual star system where the stars orbit around a mutual center of gravity. What's truly amazing is that these enormous rings have a mass of only 7.34 by 10 to the 21 tons. This impressive number is compared 
comparable to Earth's mass, which is 5.9 by 10 to the 21 tons. The history of J1407b could include many incredible and frightening events. One such event might have been a collision with a satellite that had a mass somewhere between that of Earth and Mars. The evidence for this is a large gap in the rings of J1407b. Interestingly, scientists discovered this planet through these gaps using the transit observation method. This method allowed them to determine not only the size, but also the position of the rings around the planet. J1407b challenges our understanding of planetary formation and the dynamic processes in space. Its massive rings and unique characteristics provide a glimpse into the violent and fascinating events that shape celestial bodies. Whether it's the destruction of satellites by immense gravitational forces or the potential of J1407b being a failed star, this planet remains a subject of great interest and study. Next up is one of the loneliest objects in the universe, located about 80 light years away from the sun. This fascinating object is called PSO J318.5-22, and it's a planet with a unique story. Unlike most planets, PSO J doesn't orbit a star. Instead, it drifts alone through the vast emptiness of space. Scientists call these types of planets rogue planets, but they're also known as orphans or nomads because they've been ejected from their original planetary systems. The absence of a nearby star actually makes PSO J easier to study. Normally, the light from a host star would overshadow the planet, but without this interference, astronomers can directly observe PSOJ. Using the Pan-STARRS telescope, they have taken hundreds of infrared photos of the planet. These photos reveal that PSOJ is eight times larger than Jupiter and significantly brighter. Changes in the planet's brightness show that it completes rotation every five hours. The planet has several layers of thick and thin clouds, and the temperature is around 1470 degrees Fahrenheit. A group of astronomers using the new technology telescope at the European Southern Observatory in Chile even managed to create one of the first weather forecasts for a celestial body outside our solar system. According to their report, PSOJ experiences cloudy but extremely hot days with dust storms traveling at several times the speed of sound and possible molten iron rain. PSOJ is estimated to be around 12 million years old. Scientists aren't exactly sure how rogue planets form, but they have a few theories. One idea is that these objects were either unsuccessful stars or gas giants much larger than Jupiter. Another theory suggests that rogue planets were ejected from young planetary systems after close encounters with other planets. These encounters, influenced by the gravitational fields, pushed the planets out of their original systems. Once free from their original gravitational influences, rogue planets drift through space until they might eventually get captured by another star system's gravity. There's some debate among scientists about how to classify PSOJ and similar objects. Some refer to them as sub-brown dwarfs, indicating that they are in a transitional state Eight, not quite stars, but also not typical planets or gas giants as we usually understand them. While scientists have identified several rogue planets, research is still in its early stages. There's a lot more to discover about these extraordinary interstellar objects. As technology improves and new observations are made, we're likely to learn even more amazing things about rogue planets like PSOJ in the future. Their unique characteristics and mysterious origins continue to intrigue and challenge our understanding of the cosmos. Now we're about to dive into the fast fascinating world of WASP-12b, a planet that's often called doomed by scientists. Picture a merry-go-round of destruction and you'll get an idea of what this place is like. The surface of WASP-12b is completely inhospitable for a number of reasons, but the biggest one is that the planet is literally being ripped apart by its host star, piece by piece, and flung into outer space. WASP-12b is a gas giant, with a radius that's about twice the size of Jupiter's. But here's where it gets really interesting. Unlike Jupiter, which takes 12 Earth years to make one full revolution around the Sun, WASP-12b whips around its star in just one day. This insanely fast orbit creates unbelievable tidal forces on the planet, distorting its shape. According to scientists' calculations, WASP-12b isn't a perfect sphere. It's more like an egg. Astronomers estimate that WASP-12b can't handle this kind of torture for much longer. They predict the planet has a maximum of 10 million years before it completely falls apart. When that happens, it'll form a cloud of gas and dust that its star will gradually consume. Even more fascinating is that as the planet loses material to its star, it speeds up. 
until now. Scientists thought this kind of matter exchange was only possible between stars, making WASP-12b the first confirmed case of this happening to an exoplanet. This intense gravitational interaction heats the planet to scorching temperatures, reaching up to 4,100 degrees Fahrenheit. This makes the idea of life on WASP-12b pretty much impossible. But there's more. Five years after its discovery, the Hubble telescope used a method called spectroscopy to detect signs of a water stream on the planet. This was an incredible find, given the harsh conditions. Another surprising discovery about WASP-12b is that its hard surface, if it has one, could be made of graphite and diamonds. This is due to the high concentration and density of carbon in the planet's composition. Some media outlets even call WASP-12b the diamond planet. However, most scientists believe that the majority of this carbon exists in the planet's atmosphere as carbon monoxide and methane. Adding to the mystery, in 2012, the researchers suggested that WASP-12b might have a moon, referred to as WASP-12b1. This potential satellite was an estimated radius 6.4 times that of Earth's, which is only about three times smaller than WASP-12b itself. The conditions on the surface of this moon are still unknown, but they're probably not much better than those on WASP-12b. Lastly, let's visit Fomalhuac b, formerly known as Dagon. This distant world was once thought to exist, but the story behind it is much more intriguing. Let's take a trip back to 2004. In 2004, the Hubble Space Telescope discovered a gigantic coal debris disk of gas and dust around the star Formalhaut, one of the brightest stars in the night sky, located relatively close to us at 25 light years away. This star has a radius twice as large as the sun. When scientists saw this disk, they immediately started theorizing about what might be hidden within it. They estimated there could be a planet three times as large as Jupiter orbiting Formalhaut. However, this mysterious planet behaved in ways that puzzled scientists. Its speed seemed to increase over time, which was strange for a planet. Then in 2008, four years after the initial discovery, the news broke that an image of Dagon had finally been captured. This was a huge sensation in the scientific community. However, the data showed that the planet was much smaller than previously thought, with a mass somewhere between Earth and Mars. Dagon's dim glow in the infrared range and inability to affect the debris ring around Fomalhaut indicated that it had a low mass. Additionally, its brightness decreased while its size appeared to grow, and its orbital movement didn't match predictions. This left scientists at a complete standstill because nothing about Dagon fit their understanding of exoplanets. Fast forward to 2014 and Dagon threw another curveball. It disappeared. Up until then, the object had been considered observed, but starting in 2008, it began to dim and grow in size until it completely vanished. These events defied everything scientists knew about exoplanets, so they had to go back and review all their data, leading to a radical new conclusion. Dagon was never a planet at all. Instead, the object was likely a slowly dissipating dust cloud formed from a massive collision between two asteroids or planet seismals. This kind of collision is incredibly rare and must have happened around 2004 when Hubble was surveying Fomalhaut's surroundings. As time passed, the dust from this collision began to spread out, which explained the object's increasing size and decreasing brightness. The dust cloud's eccentric orbit was another cue that helped scientists piece together this new theory. These coincidences had initially led astronomers to believe in the existence of a strange and unpredictable planet, Dagon. In reality, what they had been observing was a transient runaway dust cloud. It didn't behave like a typical planet, move like a planet, or have a stable orbit around its host star. Instead, it was on a path that eventually took far away from Formal Hot. So that was the video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the rocket, and smash that bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next one. Till then, keep exploring.